Good morning and have a nice day. I am Ma'am Heronimo and welcome to our lesson number two. Let us begin our lesson with a prayer. Dear God, thank you for the opportunity to meet together. Please help us to come together to make this institution reflect your kingdom. Breathe life into our ideas and decisions. Help us build a team that has love and respect at its heart. Give us the strength to continue working for your kingdom in this time of pandemic. Lord, come give us the inspiration to be the best we can be. May we be a shining example of your goodness and truth within, wherever we are. Inspire our thoughts, discussions, and ideas, and continue to remind us that all that we do here today, all that we accomplish, is for the pursuit of truth for the greater glory of you. We ask these things in your name. Amen. For the checking of attendance, please answer the attendance poll in our group messenger. Hello and welcome to our school at home class in English grade 10. We are in the fourth quarter in our set of lessons and I hope everybody will delight in learning today with lesson number 2, giving technical and operational definitions. After going through this video lesson, you are expected to number 1. Distinguish technical definitions from operational definitions and number 2. Construct technical and operational definitions. You have got to learn a lot in this lesson, but before that, get your pen and paper. Let us check your prior knowledge through a pretest. You can pause this video if you will need more time to read and answer. Press play again when you're done with the activity and when you're ready to proceed. Let's do this! Directions Tell whether the statements below are true or false. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write the letter in your notebook. A for true and B for false. Let us check your answers. Great job! You have learned from the previous lesson that it is essential to know how to distinguish the technical terms used in the research. Since you are going to delve into a deeper and thorough research as you move forward, learning those terms would help you a lot in crafting your research. Before we proceed, let us observe closely to the picture, then answer the question that follow. What could happen if a word or phrase is not understood in the same way by everyone on a team? The possible answer, 
If a word is not understood the same way by everyone, it could lead to misunderstanding. Do not mistake definition with the word meaning as they are different from each other. And these definitions may limit how we think about our world. Definitions have power to shape how we think. In today's lesson, you will learn how to give technical and operational definitions. Technical definition tells you what the concepts means, what your constructs are by explaining how they are related to other constructs. In other words, conceptual definition is just the literal or core sense of a word. There is nothing read into the term no subtext, it's just a straightforward, literal dictionary definition of the word. The Oxford Dictionary has the catalog how English words have been used for the past 1,000 years and continues to be updated as new words and usages for the old ones occur. But this dictionary and any other can only be provided a literal definition and it cannot show us what the word means in context. In technical writing, however, there are words that are used in specific contexts in different disciplines. Context changes the meaning of the word, in some cases their grammatical form. Let us use tongue as an example. Tongue it is probably a word that the reader immediately understands but understands incorrectly depending on context. A tongue is defined conceptually, can be a structure in a mouth, a strip of a land, part of a shoe, a language, part of a belt buckle, part of a bell, or anything that is shaped like the tongue. This is an example of a commonly used word that is used in uncommon ways. It is an example of a problem that may be avoided if the technical writer defines terms that are likely to be misunderstood or not understood. What is an operational definition? It is the specific meaning of a word or phrase given to it by the group of people who use the word in their specific context. Assigned meaning to a variable by specifying the activities or operations necessary to measure, categorize, or manipulate the variable. It is stated in terms of operations or procedures that must be carried out in observing or measuring that which is being defined. An example sentence, intelligence relates positively to achievement. It implies that the higher the intelligence level of a person, the better he achieves. Also, the intelligence level may be defined operationally by its measurement. Example, the result of an IQ test, while the achievement level can be measured by an achievement test whether standardized or teacher-made. How to define the terms variables operationally? In fact, there is no hard and first rule for operationally defining a variable. Operational definitions may vary depending on your purpose and the way you choose to measure them. Neither are there any universally accepted definitions of all the variables. A researcher can logically choose a definition of a variable that will serve his or her purpose. Whenever possible, Operational definitions used by others in their work of good standing could be used so that the results can be compared. Operational definitions in research It is critical to operationally define a variable in order to lend credibility to the methodology and to ensure the reproducibility of the results of the study. Another study may identify the same variable differently making it difficult to compare the results of two studies. An operational definition serves four purposes. One, it establishes the rules and procedures the researcher uses to measure the variable. Two, it provides an ambiguous and consistent meaning to terms variables that otherwise can be interpreted in different ways. Three, it makes the collection of data as well as the analysis more focused and efficient. Four, it guides what type of data and information we are looking for. Example situations context where operational definition is necessary. Suppose a study classifies students according to the grades they received 
A, B, C, etc. But the task is not that easy if you must determine which students fall in which grade since there is seldom any universal rule for grades. To do this, you need an operational definition. Suppose further that we want to make four categories of knowledge, no knowledge, low knowledge, medium knowledge, and high knowledge. We decide to define these knowledge levels as follows. Why do you need an operational definition when you already have a perfectly good conceptual definition? In your conceptual definitions, you explain what your constructs are by showing how they relate to other constructs. This explanation and all of the other constructs it refers to are abstract. Their existence is only as real and concrete as the thoughts you have while you watch a seagull soar past on a still breeze. To work with your constructs, you must establish a connection between them and the concrete reality in which you live. This process is called operationalization. Your operational definitions describe the variable you will use as indicators and the procedures you will use to observe or measure them. You need an operational definition because you can't measure anything without one, no matter how good your conceptual definition might be. Why should you use operational definitions? Operational definitions put workable meaning into our everyday terminology. To communicate effectively and avoid misinterpretations, members of a team, data collectors and both internal and external customers and suppliers or a certain group must use the same operational definitions for the same concepts. Misunderstandings waste time, but worse, they add variation to your process. Consequently, it is vitally important to develop operational definitions, especially if you are doing research. Let's do some activities. Task number two. Directions below are examples of the two types of definitions. Use each to fill the layers of our hamburgers, operational definition burger or technical definition burger. Decide where each example should belong to. Copy the letter of the statement and write it in your notebook. Let us check your answers. Learning task number three. Seek and you will find directions. Analyze the sentences in each item and write technical definition if the concept is defined technically and operational definition if defined operationally. Let us check your answers. Great job! Learning task number four. 
directions choose five things that you can see in your home and define it technically and operationally observe the proper way of defining words use part a as your guide accomplish the chart below Let's be guided by the rubrics below. Great! We are almost done! How can you apply the lessons you learned today in your daily life? According to Greek Athenian philosopher Socrates, the beginning of wisdom is the definition of terms. As your exit pass today, write in your journal the learning, realization, and commitment by completing the phrases. My journey through this lesson enabled me to learn. It made me realize that I therefore commit to. That's all for today. See you on our next lesson. Goodbye!